And welcome back to Let's Play Trial Princess with me, Swift, where we've got to find a way to get past those guys. <coughs> and my control stick's stuck. There we go. Ah, uh, how fortunate you are in one piece. I saw you heading up the mountain trail, so I was worried. Are you trying to reach the Gorons of Death Mountain? It is far too dangerous, Swift. They recognize only strength. A normal person could never persuade them. Oh. But I do know one person who is able to best them and earn their trust. His name is Bo. You may know him as the mayor of your hometown, Ordon. Please go to him, and while you are there, please let him know that the children are safe. Of course, getting them back would be best, but we could not keep them safe from the monsters on the road without a horse and cart. Please, return to Ordon and inform the parents that their children are free from harm. Give them my word. Okay then, looks like we're back off to Ordon. Now, there's nothing of interest, I don't think, on the way, so... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I'd have to do this later. Didn't realize I'd have to do it now. Oh well, <coughs> looks like we're getting some events then. And it's a familiar face. <coughs> uh oh, what? This part can be awkward. We've got a tamer. Right, control stick will come up, we've got to lean that way and then press A button when it comes up. Right, hold left. Right. Left. Right. Then press A here, I think. There we go. <coughs> I think if you fall off, you can just run up and press A to get back on her and then you've got to do it again. We got our horse back, and we took one step in midness and midness into us. Oh, you're not too shabby, you angle after all. Well, this makes getting back to your town a lot easier. Now, go finish your errands so we can get back. Get a move on. Um, if we were walking, I was going to cut this, but I'll just show how fast it is once you've got a boner. <laughs> and probably from then on, I'll probably cut any long travelling unless there's something of interest. Okay, we can now jump it. Yay! Yeah, so I think we do have to get a phone at this point. This is worth wait. Wait, I thought I was going to run away this time. Yeah. I have got to deliver a letter. It's a letter from Uku. <laughs> well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. I'm going to give him a really retarded voice. <laughs> because I can. <laughs> yeah, while you're on a pony, you can win enemies over. Hear their bones break. Right, this is a point of interest. That rock there. We're gonna come back later. Get away from me, you stupid bird. Yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Onwards, save through the grass. Yeah, the field's quite large in this game. Let's break some bones! <laughs> Just like we would have heard them make that <laughs> sound. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Yay for going the wrong way! My sense of direction prevails! <laughs> yeah. Anyone who knows me knows I've got a bad memory and a bad sense of direction, and the two combined makes me even worse. <laughs> Run them down. <coughs> so yeah, you you do get around a lot quicker when you've got a pony or whatever you call them, because you can't pick it. <laughs> Jump over the campfire. Link be nimble. Link be quick. Link. Jump over the boiling pot. Yeah, it's pretty pointless, but I'm just showing what it's like on your horse once you get out. There's also a pretty interesting glitch I might show later when the point arises, because I've never seen it on YouTube, so I'm thinking of showing it off. Now, I'm not going to ruin it, I'll show, if I remember to, I'll show it when I get there. It's when the Bridge of Eldin goes. It's during the Bridge of Eldin scene. Well, one of them, not the first one. And we're back in the village. 
Alright, feel free to go tell all the other parents what's happened, but I'm just gonna continue. Swear? <laughs> Whoa, it is you, Swear. You're saved on the sound. Your clothes. What happened to you, lad? Look at me, straddling on a horse. <laughs> Come quick inside. <coughs> Cause I am the Link Ranger. <coughs> I see, so the young'uns are in Kakuriko Village. Well, that's good. Renato is an old friend. If they're in his care, then we can relax. So don't be keep me waiting, lad. Tell me this little girl. Tell me of my little girl. Ilya's with the Ilya's with the rest of them, right? I'm pretty sure that's Ilya. Oh, I see. That ain't what I wanted to hear. I didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, but so I guess I need to think of all five of those poor kids, not just my own. They're all in danger. What I should be asking is how I can help out. <coughs> What's that now? The Gorons of Death Mountain? I see, so Renato told you that. Well, it's true I did defeat the Gorons in a contest of strength and earned their trust with the help of a little secret. I can teach you the secret, but you can, pro but can you promise me that you absolutely positively will not disclose it to anyone? You just say yes anyway. <laughs> Good, all right then. Absolutely no one. Come this way. Little secret, also known as cheating. <laughs> so if you've heard of sumo wrestling, right? Goins like to match strength in sumo contest. Luckily for you, the basics of sumo are the same as stopping charging goats. You want to hear more? Nah, I can go over the controls. If I can remember them. Crap. <laughs> Body chosen. I know you can swing the remote to slap them, hold A to grab them, and press repeatedly. And left and right, and then chuck to move side to side. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's just like the slap and grab, basically. Dodge, slap, grab. <laughs> so I've got hiccups now. Not the side I wanted to see. <laughs> Like this. Dodge. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yes, yeah, slap and mash A. And dodge. Ah, press A to get out quick. Dodge. Slap. Ah! What is it to, do to counter a slap? It's grab, isn't it? Oh no, A to duck, that's it. If they swing, you press A to duck them. Like that. And if they grab, dodge to the side. So, dodge or grab, slap. So, it's dodge or grab. Sl dodge a grab, grab a slap, slap a dodge. That's it. Hmm, you seem to understand the basics. Alright, next time we'll go easy and you're like, five minutes if you're fighting one of the go ones. So I can use my sword? Right. I get a slap. Crap. <laughs> I think he always slaps, doesn't he? Ah, <laughs> double grab. <laughs> yeah, you can, if you dodge a grab, you can grab them back. Ah, dodge it. <laughs> yeah, he he has perfect timing. He'll, he'll nearly always do the counter. He'll nearly always do the correct counter. Right now, we just need to roll around the back of him and grab him because we've lured him near the edge. <laughs> Good thing is just lure them near the edge. <laughs> so I mean, he always seems to know the right thing to do. But yeah. Slap and grab. <laughs> And he's out of here. I remember the first time I did that, I just absolutely flattened him both times. Because <laughs> I was just got lucky and did the right thing every time. But your natural time, I'm sure you can take one of the on the core ones. If you feel more secure, you can let him go first and then if you've got good reactions, do the counter. You've gone a slight stronger in the short time you've been gone, Swerve. Strong, though you are, strong as you are, though, you can't hope to be the Gorons wrestling with power alone. Those Gorons are made of rock. Now, the secret of being the Gorons is locked away in that chest. Take it with you, lad. <coughs> you got the Iron Boots, also known as the Sumo Wrestler's Cheating Device. You can probably tell those boots are made of iron, lad. No. No, they mind. <laughs> Whoever wears them will be easily pushed around, even by a Goron. If you're fixing to find a Goron, be sure to wear those boots. Let's be square, though, lad. You can't tell anyone about those boots, especially Renato. <laughs> right. I was going to show you. So, you can actually go upstairs here. And... And you get... You go upstairs, and this is actually Ilya's room. Got a bed there. 
little comb there. So yeah. Wardrobe. <laughs> Let's mess up our room and we're not allowed to use items. Oh, we can burn it. Burn everything. Burn it. <laughs> eh, I'm done here. Oh, anyway, yeah, we're running out of time. So, we've got the iron boots and... And we can't put them on. I was going to show them off. <laughs> we can't wear them inside. Here we go. Got the iron boots. Clang, 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 clang. <laughs> yeah. Um, iron boots pretty handy. You don't get pushed around by wind. Certain enemies can't grab you. Um, you can sink to the bottom of water. And later, when we get to the next dungeon, they've got another purpose. Anyway, I'll see you there then. So, this is signing out. And next part, we're going to climb Death Mountain. I'm going to cut there. I'm not going to show the ride over. So, I'll see you straight at the mountain.